ARCI is actively involved in the development of perovskite solar cells. Why is solar energy important for India? In the next 12 years, India's energy requirement is estimated to grow by 2.5 times. Electricity shortage is estimated at 25 to 35 gigawatts, with 400 million people still unable to access electricity. India is dependent on oil imports for 80% of its demand. Hence, our Honorable Prime Minister set an ambitious target of 100 gigawatts of solar energy production by 2022. Solar energy is an inexhaustible source of energy. It reduces our dependence on imports and does not require a grid, hence reaching the most remote places in an environment-friendly way. A solar cell is a device that converts solar energy into electrical energy. Presently, silicon solar cells are dominating the photovoltaic market but their panels are rigid, thick and heavy limiting their applications. Also, silicon solar cells require energy-intensive, expensive, multi-step processes at temperatures greater than 1000 degrees centigrade increasing their cost and payback time. In this context, a new generation of solar cells has emerged that addresses the shortcomings of silicon solar cells without compromising on efficiency. These solar cells are called the perovskite solar cells. Perovskite solar cells are light in weight, do not require energy-intensive processes, can be made by simple solution processes, flexible and cost only one-third of a silicon solar cell. They have a direct and tunable band gap making them an attractive choice for building integrated photovoltaics. The working principle of a perovskite solar cell is similar to the working mechanism of a leaf. Like how the leaf's chlorophyll pigment converts sunlight into glucose for energy, perovskite is used in perovskite solar cells which absorb sunlight producing energy. Perovskite solar cells utilizes a transparent conductive oxide coated on a substrate to function as an anode. The fluorine-doped tin oxide FTO-coated substrates are cut as per the required dimensions using a glass cutter. The substrates are etched using zinc metal dust and HCl. The substrates are etched to ensure contact separation. The FTO side opposite to the etched side is masked using a tape. Electron transport layer is spin coated on the FTO. This acts as a scaffold for growing perovskite as well as extracts the electrons from the perovskite layer. The perovskite precursor solution is made by dissolving lead iodide and methyl ammonium iodide in a compatible solvent. This solution is spin coated onto the electron transport layer and placed on a hot plate at 100 degrees. The change in color indicates the crystallization and formation of perovskite layer. A whole transporting layer is deposited by spin coating on top of the perovskite layer. This layer helps to collect the holes generated in the perovskite layer. The electrodes are masked so as to deposit gold electrode which acts as the cathode by thermal evaporation. When sunlight falls on the solar cell, electrons and holes are generated in the perovskite layer which are collected by the respective charge transport layers. The electrons extracted can be used to run any application such as a fan as shown here. Thank you.